We begin with an update to breaking news. A deadly shooting in South Tulsa. One person is dead, two others wounded. It happened around 1245 last night near 71st and Memorial. 2 News reporter Patricia Santos is live there now with the latest. Patricia? Well, police this morning telling us they are unsuccessful in getting any leads because one man is dead, two others are in the hospital, unable to communicate. The shooting happened in the garage of the home that you see right behind us here this morning. Tulsa police telling us they are looking for two suspects and the motive is unknown at this time. Then when I heard the consecutive you know, pops. At 1245 last night, Bill Mady knew something didn't sound right. I realized that it was uh, gunfire. It was about six shots in rapid succession. And and then about 20 seconds after that, I heard tires squealing like somebody was taking off. He stepped outside to see fire trucks and a swarm of Tulsa police officers on his usually quiet South Tulsa neighborhood. Apparently the shooting was in the street, into the garage, and on the side of the garage. Two men were taken to the hospital and a third one was dead. A fourth adult and a child inside the home were not hurt. You know, it seemed like a bunch of nice guys are always friendly. They're young men that were out there and I don't know their names and never really had any contact with them. Officers pulled bags of evidence and a shotgun, even a door from the home. The entire ordeal has left homeowners worried about how their neighborhood is changing. I feel pretty secure with my neighbors that I know, but um, life is changing. You know, the world is changing around here. Now we understand one of the victims was part of the Army Reserve in another state. Right now, detectives are actively working this case. They are asking anyone with information, anyone who might have witnessed the scene here, to call Crime Stoppers. That's 918-596-2677. Live in South Tulsa, Patricia Santos, 2 News, works for you. And that is Tulsa's 48th homicide of the year. You can be the first to know about